What is up, guys? Today we're talking the first Final Four game of this year's Final Four in Glendale, Arizona, between Purdue and NC State. NC State has won nine games in 20 days. They are 26 and 14 after being 17 and 14 just a couple weeks ago. Purdue, obviously, 33 and four on the year. Let's talk Purdue first because they are really a huge story of this tournament. I could you, you could say they're the biggest story of the tournament, but I think that's either UConn's dominance or NC State's run. But I think they're one of the most talked about because just I feel like everyone's finally watching Purdue. They're having to watch them. It's they're playing standalone games against Gonzaga, or not that wasn't a standalone game, but standalone game against Tennessee. And they're finally watching Zach Eady, and they're being forced to really watch Zach Eady. And that's been controversial because some people hate his play style. Some people just can appreciate how dominant he is. I cannot like his play style, but still appreciate appreciate how dominant he is. I don't like watching Purdue basketball. I just don't. Because Literally every single play in the second half, they dumped it down to Edie. Edie threw his left shoulder, right hook, threw his left shoulder, maybe dropped and hit him with a with a drop step and finished. Like, he's a great player. And, yes, he's getting fouled all the time. He shot 22 free throws in this game, and he probably deserved all 22 of those free throws. But that, that still doesn't mean I don't like I, – I can still not like watching it. I can understand – that is the best way they're going to win. I can understand that is the best way they should play. I can understand he's probably the best player in college basketball and most valuable and most dominant. But I still just don't like watching him play because I like seeing more ball movement. I like seeing teams have multiple guys they can go to. And, yes, all the Purdue fans in the comments are going to say, well, they have Brain Smith they can go to. They can go to Fletcher Lawyer. They can go to Lance Jones. They can, but, I mean, they're feeding – they fed Edie practically every possession of the second half of that Tennessee game. He obviously had 40 and 16. W- unbelievable performance. By the way, is Edie an underdog? No, he's not. He's a 7 4 guy that went to IMG. Just because he didn't get a scholarship to Tennessee doesn't mean he was overlooked. He's a great player, by the way. So, not here to hate Edie. Connect had 37 in that game, by the way. Don Connect is truly a dog. Haven't watched him a ton this year because I've been watching ACC basketball more often than not. I am from North Carolina. I am sorry. I'm not an NC State fan. So. For those that think I have bias, I'm not going to have bias in this video. But Purdue obviously took down Gonzaga, who I think was going to beat them in a good game. Dominated Utah State, beat Tennessee in a great back and forth game. They're coming into this game minus eight and a half favorites over NC State, who now we'll talk about DJ Burns, DJ Horn. The two DJs are absolutely putting on a show this March. DJ Burns just put up 29 against Duke. 76-64. 29-4-3. DJ Horn started out slow, still ended with 20. Diara only seven rebounds in this game, but he's been averaging like 15 in the tournament so far. You just feel like this NC State team is a team of destiny. I thought Duke was going to take him down. I really did. I thought Mark. I, I didn't have much faith in Marquette, but I picked Marquette in our Sweet 16 video. I thought they were going to take him down. I thought Texas Tech was going to beat him in the first round. I mean, they were tied with, in, with, with Louisville three weeks ago, and Kevin Keats was about to lose his job. And now Kevin Keats probably has a lifetime contract at NC State and will never have to pay for another meal in Raleigh. I think this NC State team just feels like a team of destiny. I mean, like, how are they going to beat Purdue? I don't know. I don't know how they were going to beat Duke, Marquette, freaking Texas Tech. Like, what is it? Just feed DJ Burns and let him go to work and let – or feed DJ Horn and let him go to work. Hope O'Connell, hope Middlebrooks hits shots, hopes freaking – I don't even know. Like, the Aura hit shots. Like, what? NC State, you're playing with so much house money. If you're Purdue, you get to the Final Four after losing to North Texas three years ago, St. Peter's the year before or the year after that, and then last year, Fairleigh Dickinson in the first round. You get to the Final Four. You finally do it. Zach Eady, you finally have your moment in the Elite Eight, your big moment you've been waiting for. Now you're going up against an 11 seed. You should cakewalk to the Final Four. You you realistically should be looking ahead to UConn in the championship, and and who knows if Purdue's actually doing that? But it just I just feel I think NC State's going to win this game. I think NC State's really going to win this game. They have that magic. Now, typically, that magic for eleven seeds runs out in the Final Four. We saw it with UCLA. We saw it with Loyola Chicago, VCU, teams of like teams like that. But UCLA lost on a buzzer beater, so I'm not really going to put. A ton of stock in that. Obviously, Loyola Chicago lost, but that's a mid-major. UCLA was exactly similar to this NC State team. It's a team that is a has talent, is a high major, and couldn't really put it together all year. And they're finally putting it together now. And they are they they truly have talent of a good high major program, a top twenty-five team. They really do have that talent with Burns and Horn playing this well. 
So Purdue fans are probably going to hate me. I think you absolutely take NC State plus eight and a half. I mean, Edie could have 40. I mean, at the end of the day, if Edie just gets the foul calls, he's probably going to put up 30 and this team's probably going to win. But give me NC State. I'm going to have some fun with that. I uh, DJ Burns is too much fun. Give me NC State to beat Purdue in the final four. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.